Uh, do, do you agree with some prominent attorneys who have complained about waste and inefficiency within the parish attorney's office? And can you state your position about those attorneys simultaneously engaging in private law practices? Thank you. All right. The question is waste and uh, abuse in the uh, parish attorney's office and any way to streamline the, uh, the operations? Yes, basically. And, and also the stand with regard to the employees that are in, in with you know, attorneys they with they do, uh, private practice. Rules, private practice as well as doing their public practice. Please go ahead and your wife. I know that our parish attorney staff is very large. I don't know exactly what everybody does yet, but I know a few of them, but that's one of the things I wanted to look in early on. I know that many times for an attorney to work for a government, they are offered an opportunity to do some outside work because of their potential earnings if they're not there. But I think we need to look at it, see how many we need, how many hours they spend working for the parish, and how many hours they spend working for private interest or their own interest. So, you know, I, I'm not going to make a judgment of it so far because I've never sit down and looked at their whole budget. I looked at the budget, but I know there's so many I counted them. They don't have to explain to me what they're doing and how much they're working outside to represent other people or other interests during that time. I would have to agree with Bodie on that. Um, I think we all saw that within the last couple of years there were a lot of there's a lot of wrangling in that office. The office is basically controlled by the city council, and I think we need to take the politics out of that office. But I would agree with Bodie again that we need to go in there and examine closely what's going on. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that really is mainly a council job, but I think it does need to be examined. Thank you. I think that our parish attorneys do a great job. I believe that they should be able to have part-time jobs because the salary that they are given is not equivalent to what they could make in the private sector. So that's the first thing. I, I'm not uh, against looking at the parish attorney's office. And one of the things that I would like to look at is the outsourcing of some of our cases that are in that office. And I think we could save money by not outsourcing a lot of the cases that we do to uh, private firms. So maybe some of that is needed when it's an expert, but not all the time. I think we need to look at it, but, but I certainly believe that they should be able to hold other jobs. Certainly when the new mayor takes office, she is going to have to look <laughs> at uh, everything that's taking place in city parish government, almost like an audit that happens every time a new administration comes in. So it certainly would be advantageous to look and see what's going on in the parish attorney's office. I will tell you that it's not uncommon uh, from my experience in state government working with excellent staff to have uh, attorneys who have their own practice in addition to working for government because the salaries do not uh, really compare and are not competitive. Thank you. Well, the new mayor, whoever he or she may be, um, should know that the parish attorney's office falls under the auspices of the council and not the mayor's office, uh, first and foremost. Second of all, I think that since Lee Ann Batson has taken over as parish attorney, you've seen some very good changes in that office, and I think that the office is become a lot more streamlined, a lot more like a professional law firm and less like a typical government uh, uh, job. And I think that the current parish attorneys that we have do an outstanding job of balancing their private practices with their public uh, service work that they do for us. I think that one of the key things you have to realize is that many of the people who are in the parish attorney's office are not full-time employees. So they're only part-time. And I think that you know part of that is because that's, that's how you're able to recruit good attorneys to come work for us, but pay them the very little that we do. So I think it's a balance. If we outsource more of the work, then you know all of the attorneys that we would outsource it to would have hundreds of other clients as well. So I think what we're doing now is a good thing. Thank you. 